Bitcoin price has risen to $26,500. The crash of tech banks Silicon Valley Bank, Silvergate, and Signature. U.S. Consumer Price Index has increased by 6% in a year. Banking crisis in the U.S. Yes, that's all on our channel. Hello everyone. Hello again everyone. My name is Emma Lee, and today on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel, I want to remind you about the significant changes in the price of Bitcoin. While you're at it, call your friends, like, and subscribe to our channel. So, the increase in the price of Bitcoin to $26,500 occurred against the backdrop of the crash of Tech Bank's Silicon Valley Bank, Silvergate, and Signature. The U.S. Federal Reserve took control of Silicon Valley, allocating $25 billion for its financing, and is taking other measures to prevent a liquidity crisis. The problem has pushed inflation in the United States into the background and may force the Fed to reconsider its previous decision to raise interest rates. The U.S. Consumer Price Index rose 6% over the year, with the average price of real estate increasing by 8.9% over the year. The core inflation rate during the year was 5.5%, compared to 5.6% in January. This inflation rate is far from last year's 41-year record of 9.1%, but it does not meet the Fed's target of 2%. In December, the organization forecasted a rate hike to 5.1% at the beginning of 2023, but the banking crisis is likely to cause it to reconsider its plans. Unlike the crypto, Silvergate, which experienced an outflow of funds and self-liquidated, the problems of Silicon Valley Bank are related to its work in a high-interest rate environment, according to U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Over the past few days, the price of Bitcoin has remained at the level of $25,000 to $26,000, with small changes in its course. What I'd like to add about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. I've heard a lot of claims recently that the era of cryptocurrencies is over. How can that be when this era is just beginning? Like any physical asset, cryptocurrencies have their volatility and today the price may be one thing, but tomorrow it will be less or more. This does not mean that the era of cryptocurrencies is over. But fiat currencies need to be reconsidered. And in general, how long will money continue to exist, how will they be issued by governments? Share your thoughts in the comments. This is Emma Lee inviting you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Did you like my thoughts? Well, I like you. Kisses and love to you.